50 years ago, at the height of the Cold War, the Soviet defense industry was going at full capacity, building battleships, tanks, and missiles. To reuse its production leftovers, engineers created this peaceful red tram, which, long after the confrontation ended, still continues its service day after day, accepting the motherland's defeat with honor. Where is he going, and what is he thinking about? Let's find out. Krasnotorinsk, a small dying industrial town similar to the ones you can find in the Rust Belt. On its snow-covered streets, or more precisely on one of them, an old red tram car slowly trudges down the tracks. Its registration plate bears the number one. It follows route number one and is the only one remaining unit in service. Ironically, all of the town's newer trams have already found their eternal rest on the grounds of the local depot, while this legendary machine, model name KTM-5, still keeps its wheels turning. This immortal red tram would be the perfect public transportation choice for an inhabited island or a Martian colony, where there is a need for the simplest and most reliable machines possible that can be repaired without a connection to the outside world. Yet technological progress hasn't passed this tram by. It now offers a free Wi-Fi service for the convenience of its passengers. However, with only one car working, the service interval is an unbelievable 40 minutes, and that makes the prospects of the tram in the town of Krasnoturinsk very bleak. But life does not have to be so joyless. In the city of Perm, one of the KTM-5 cars, while still keeping its brutal exterior, has been transformed into a stylish cafe on wheels. The wide tram network of this industrial center on the edges of Europe and Asia allows it to take a circular hour and a half ride around the city center, allowing passengers to enjoy the changing scenery through the car's large windows. The driver's job is a bit different here. Keeping up with the schedule is not as important as maintaining a smooth ride with an outdated suspension and tracks that are not always well maintained. Nevertheless, for many of them, driving a tram is a passion. В детстве вообще, я даже как-то сейчас не помню, но у меня мама здесь в детстве работала, когда я совсем маленькая была. И я все время ей говорила, что мама, я хочу быть водителем трамвая. Да и вот в итоге это было, когда мне было 5 лет. И вот через 20 лет эта мечта исполнилась. The KTM-5 is often the only bright spot among the dull, gray reality of post-Soviet cities, cursed with poverty and bad weather. But why is everything surrounding the KTM-5 so sad? Where is the Red Square, St. Basil's Cathedral, the Bolshoi Theater? Well, this tram was designed to never see them. The history of the KTM-5, which stands for Kirov's Motorized Tram, began in the year 1963, when the Soviet Union, still intensively rebuilding after World War II and already having launched a man into space, had a shortage of rolling stock to serve the streets of its rapidly growing cities. The first shipments of everyone's favorite tram, the Czechoslovakian Tatra T3 units, had already arrived in Moscow and some republic capitals. And so from the very beginning, the purpose of a newly designed tram was to work in the country's backyard. On the wide avenues of experimental socialist cities, along the straight roads to gigantic industrial centers, and also in smaller periphery towns, KTM-5 cars could afford to have bigger dimensions, as they were never intended to fit the narrow historic streets and tight curves. One will have a hard time trying to find a spot where a KTM-5 passes by a lovely church or a sumptuous mansion. It just so happens that all the beautiful places are served by other cars. These red boxes feel more appropriate in cities like Nabergin Chelny in the Republic of Tatarstan, an urban area of half a million people, built completely from scratch in the 70s to settle the workers of a new giant heavy truck factory. The socialist architects finally had a chance to really go all out, and they built what they had always dreamed of, 
namely hundreds of identical nine-story tower blocks, dissected by wide highways and multi-level road junctions. Everything was perfectly calculated and aligned to the grid, and, no different from any other planned cities of that time, turned out to be totally unlivable. Unsurprisingly, it soon became home to a number of Russia's most influential and violent organized crime groups, and as the city didn't even have street names, they often named themselves just by which block number they lived on. But the human soul is kind and merciful, and in those difficult times, there were still those who took care of our ugly duckling of a tram. Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, a gorgeous mountainous country that is sometimes confused with American state, had serious electricity supply issues in the 90s, with frequent and long blackouts making trams an unreliable public transit service. To solve this, a truck diesel engine was installed in one of the units, and the car worked like this for two years before it was destroyed by the competing Mashrutka Mafia. Of course, not all KTM 5 modifications were so drastic, and many tram depots just carried out complete overhauls on their units instead. То есть провели дефектоскопию с заменой балок. После этого прогрунтовали, заменили обшивной лист на новый, утеплили его монтажной пеной. Электрооборудование, соответственно, тоже прошло капитальный ремонт. Тележки прошли капитальный ремонт. This has been performed independently all over the country with similar results. Overhauled KTM 5s got rectangular headlights, which are easier to find and fit with a new body. The unique wide sliding doors were replaced with boring swinging ones that no longer had large gaps through which cold air blew into the cabin. That way it became possible to discard individual seat heating and replace it with just a few heating radiators per car. In the awfully cold Siberian city of Irkutsk, Oleg Olgnev, a head of engineering at the local depot, came up with the idea of installing heat curtains above each of the doors. That's how we're different from our colleagues in the West, he says proudly. They have to work strictly according to the instructions. We are free to improvise and are always searching for new ideas. In such a freshly renovated tram, it's no longer embarrassing to invite Santa Claus aboard, or as they call him here, Grandfather Frost, accompanied by his granddaughter, the Snow Maiden. In the summertime, the trams turn into festive venues celebrating, for example, the city's birthday. These awkward cars are beloved first-class citizens, and sometimes the anniversary of the tram service opening is actually a holiday. Many cities arrange sightseeing trams, which are also used to introduce children to the place they live in. As said earlier, with a few rare exceptions, KTM 5s are not allowed to pass by the churches and palaces, so such rides are most attractive to lovers of industrial tourism. Будет ходить завтра от предмостной площади по Красноярскому рабочему до Крастец. Not all KTM 5s ended up with an even more unsophisticated shape and 1980s car headlights. In the city of Voronezh, a large carriage repair plant that primarily works for the big railway managed to turn a few units into more aesthetically pleasing ones. Unfortunately, when one of the largest tram networks in Russia was destroyed a few years later by the same Mashrutka Mafia, they disappeared without a trace. A less successful renovation job was performed in another southern city, Krasnodar, where an enterprise that specializes in track renewal trains and ballast tampers managed to make the KTM-5 even scarier. To back up the new, double-ended trams on newly built lines that lack reversal rings, Depots had to either unite two KTM 5s into weird looking push pull trains, or arming themselves with a grinder and a welding machine, come up with what was undoubtedly a breakthrough in science and technology a single carriage, double ended tram car. A group of German tourists, interested in visiting diverse public transportation systems of the world, found this curiosity particularly fascinating. Es ist, es ist ein für das Land ein gut arbeitendes System. Die Maschinen sind ausreichend, um das zu machen. Ja, also. But no matter how many overhauls they perform, the saddest fact of the KTM 5's biography remains. Although it is the most produced tram in the world, there are still only 14,991 units in existence. They were nine, I repeat, nine units shy of a round number of units produced when it was replaced with the newer model number eight. 
so what adults were not able to handle, children have to finish. And the remaining trams were made from cardboard and plastic and will circulate from the strawberry bed to the flower garden. As opposed to how it happened at Kirov's carriage construction plant, here, with each new copy produced, new technologies are employed and the overall quality rises. Я пошел в музей трамвайного парка, опять же, и там мне помог Губков Сергей Николаевич. Он говорит, тебе надо пантограф сделать немножко каркас другой, чтобы он тебя лучше пружинил, чтобы тележки лучше ездили. As long as there are people like that in this world, the future of the KTM5 is in safe hands. Even in the depressing town of Krasnoturinsk, in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis, they have found another car somewhere, and on the weekends, turn it into a children's party venue. So no matter how crooked the rails, how overgrown the sleepers, how low the voltage in the overhead wire, this red angular tram, officially named the KTM5, will continue its way through the almost post-apocalyptic streets of what was once a great civilization. And maybe one day, we will see it rise again. I want to thank you all for watching this video. The previous one gained over a thousand views in the first few days, and this is the best motivation for me to continue. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This will help the channel grow and help me to film more videos about the diverse transportation infrastructure of the world. Happy holidays, everyone, and travel safe.